here at Bricks Cascade 2019, which is quickly becoming our favorite convention every year to go to. Yeah, you deal with it. There's all these different people from the adults fan of Lego Club, and they are or group, I guess. I don't know if they're a club or whatever, but uh, they have all these different contraptions and things that they've made over the course of the past year, and this is where they come to show it all off. We've got mechs, we've got pop culture references, we've got Technic stuff, we've got full-scale battles. It's all kinds of stuff around here. I, I, I just want to run around and say Legos and watch people die inside. Just watch them as they hiss. Yeah. You, yeah. Let's get to it. Yeah. All right, let's go check it out. Yeah. Check that action out. The Lego portal engine. Yeah. The lucky Remember. cat over there that actually waves. The fish jumping over on this side. Come over and get that. It's like yeah. all kinds of little things hidden. Wow. Is that say Quake right there? Yep. Sushi shark tank. Oh wow. <laughs> so you got a shark in there. How long did it take you to build this? Three months. Three Damn. months. So this is a Lego Transformer. This Lego is Transformer here. One, One of the, the Dinobots. Dinobots. Yep, Dinobots. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Let's start with the legs. Oh, that's so what? cool. Yeah, I have all the Dinobots over here. So uh, all the Dinobots back here. Complete with Grimlock having a crown on it, because yeah. Grimlock King. Yeah. yeah. Right, give, me some, give me some narration here. So I'm Star Screamer on YouTube. Okay. Uh, you can find all the Dinobots on there. They all have to do that. And instructions too. Oh, so awesome! If you want to build your own. You build your own yeah. right on the right on the YouTube page. Nice. Thank I've you. got this right there. This is awesome. Yeah. That's pretty wild. Yeah, William McGowan has made some transformers here for Macross. So, did they even transform in Macross? Yeah, they did. Totally. I remember, I remember them transforming all the way. Macross right here. They use this guy quite a bit actually. Right. So this is the original space. The VF4 only had about three seconds of fame. There's the VF4 over here, but you've got him right here. And the white guy is my own personal custom job. Nice. Nice. Yeah. The VB6. Oh, wow, it goes through all. That's so cool. With the transforming mechanism, that, that's the hard part. Like, that really is a challenge, Adam. Right? Yeah. Getting things tied together solid. Okay, so this is the VB6 Koenig Monster from uh, Macross, and that's what it's based on. And I just did it in classic space colors because I had a lot of blue and gray and I just love classic space. So anyway, it is fully transformable to all three of its modes. It can do this destroyed and it's a uh, gerwalk mode and then it can go into uh, shuttle mode. Um, and uh, mine has the distinction of being the only one in existence with landing gear that actually retracts. Um, mine's actually the only one that has working ankles, tilts. So I, I built mine to be, you know, as, as fully posable as I possibly could make it. Um, I want to see the Lego movie that features these. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? You and me both, man. So what, where are you McGowan yeah. right there? Find him online, guys. Awesome. I had to stop right here because green slime, but that is the 1987 original space monorail set. Look at that thing going around. The green slime in the middle, and you got to have stuff going on beneath the, beneath the uh, slime waterfall. There's always a secret behind the waterfall. That's like the, the rose. So there you go, you guys can see. Christy Dittmer, right? Yeah, that's me. Just all kinds of different sets in there. I want you guys in the comments, see if you can, you know, mention everything that, that's here. Like, what do you guys, what do you guys recognize? What do you guys recognize? Some bugs here. Got the shuttle there. All kinds of stuff going on. Uh, that's beautiful. Let me zoom in on see if I can get it to the Cobra uh, Commander right there. I really appreciate all the all the like individual there like their snake eyes over there. And a lot of detail and yeah, characters roadblocks. Are, all characters the, are represented. All the different dukes somewhere in there. They never did uh, GI Joe Lego sets, right? No. So this is all. He had to put these together. I need some lasers on here. Like, how would you simulate a thousand lasers? All kinds of Wheel of Time stuff here, guys. It's so cool. Look at the size of that. The lighting bulb is beautiful. So we 
have the Forging of the Rings from Lord of the Rings, uh, done by Tim and Shortell, so we can see where they're being forged over here. And the one ring forged in secret. What was the guy's name who forged it? Sauron? Sa was it Spock? Spock. Yeah. Spock yeah. forged right. the original ring. Yeah, right. He was tricked into it. By Doctor Who. Behold, the walls of Stone Harrow. That's the way you have to say that. From Jake Hansen. That is really green. Got a little bit of hobbits in here going on. Yeah. Gandalf coming to see some hobbits, probably Bilbo and Frodo maybe over there. An unexpected extension. Uh -huh. I made uh, mini figs of one of my D&D &D parties. Like I went through and made them all and I presented all them to the group. And now this is what they expect every session. Every session they every want session, to come back they're, and see this. They're like, oh my God, well, we're at a castle. Why didn't you build a castle this time? And I'm like, how? <laughs> Brandon Jones has created everyone's childhood here. <laughs> so. Nintendo Entertainment System, right there it is. And uh, got an old TV set with the rabbit ears and everything, but check that out. Wow. The background, that's, the background is scrolling. Oh, oh, sweet. Oh, it's even got RC. That's Whoa. awesome. <laughs> so the background is moving, so he's obviously built this into uh, sections that move. You guys can see the lines there. Where so it looks like cool. the sections will be moving, and we got a little jumping Mario right there and everything. Uh, power function, XL motor bearing here, drive and drive here. It's actually here, driving everything. Everything is on this side. E2 is the 42 gear. Jesus. Slow this down at a uh, 1 to 5 ratio. Each panel is three studs wide, 16 studs. Whoa! Wide. You have a brick, a plate, and a tile. Mm -hmm. It's a nice tile to get some depth. And this is. On off switch here. It's like the old school TV. I want you to turn it off. I want you to turn it on. <laughs> this is awesome. That's what it was. Kids, there were no remote controls. You just. Made your little brother right. get up and turn it off. And this yeah. is. Tax <laughs> press all the way through to the bottom. Whoa. Whoa. The axle goes right in there. The axle drives there, it drives a series of gears under here. It drives the chain like this, it's a chain that's going to pass. It's on here. It's driving with a series of gears and some cams to get my own jump. So that's the jump mechanism. So okay. Wow. Wow. And that's how every side scrolling video game works, everyone. Every yep. one of them. Every <laughs> single one. Inside the box, this magic yep. is happening. That's yeah. what's going on. We got Jurassic Park over here. And here's where it all started. Yep. Do we have any? Yeah. Have life, you say uh, we need some Jeff Goldblum quotes about right now. Yeah. Is He's there? Over there. Is, is, is he laying all handsome in the car? There? He's not. But you can standing see there. Ellie standing in that big pile behind the. That is a hot dog eating T Rex right there. No wow. need to worry. Yes. All the these little copies. Right behind him. Oh, uh, the yep. goat. Yep. <laughs> Jeffrey Goldblum. There he is. Oh, look out. <laughs> right, now we know he wears a toupee. You knew all along. Just because we can do something doesn't mean we should. God creates dinosaur. God destroys dinosaurs. God creates man. Man creates dinosaurs. God destroys, or dinosaurs destroy man. Women inherit the earth. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So there's a there's a Sith Buster version of the R2D2 now. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Look at that thing. And uh, this is what happens when you leave a bunch of guys alone with an at at and a bunch of paint. You know what? If I saw that thing coming, I wouldn't run. So that, that is one thing. I'd be like, oh, I'm not running from that thing. Yeah. And then you're dead. Is that Jawas? Did Jawas take over? An ATAT over there? Yeah, it looks like it. Let's check that out. We got like a Sarlacc scene up here on top. Yeah. See. You got the Java's barge, you got Luke, people being fed to the star. What's going on beneath the surface? So that's what Boba Fett did. The whole did after Starlight down Society there. down here? Yeah. All right, let's go through this. You got the waiting room right here. And then the partying down here. <laughs> They're partying? Nice. There's the Sar Sarlacc Cantina and Cafe right there. Who's playing? Anybody playing in there? Soda machines. This is nice. I, I appreciate you sticking to the original Sarlacc design too, not with the, the redone with the bulbous thing in it either. Nobody, nobody that. uses that design, right? Yeah. <laughs> so this is what goes on in the Sarlacc pit. Now you know. Oh, they even have a Starbucks down there. Wow. So we got this new Clone War scene here. Yep. Um, it's one best scene here at the show. 
Uh, and you can see, scene. Uh, if you look over here in the, the back, chicken. you can see Cad Bane and his uh, crew I mean, come over hiding back there. Yeah. Right there, hiding in the bushes. It was like, that was from the Clone Wars cartoon. Yeah. Cad Bane. He was like a bounty hunter that was like, he's like, I'm the bane of your existence. <laughs> yeah. We do comedy on our site, people. Thank you. So All right. I like the uh, rock wall over here. Yeah. Or the, I call it Norman. Norman, Norman rock wall. Yep. Green space, huh? You get it because elves are building a spaceship. There it is. With elves up here. A lot of elves around here. So we got here just in time. This was all cowboys yesterday, but Jurassic Park's are right over there. And now there's just dinosaurs everywhere. And there was an alien invasion too. Aliens yesterday. Yeah. So that happens when you come to a convention, wow. you know, you never know. And by the end of the day, we'll have a winner. Aliens, dinosaurs, or cowboys, right? Yep. Who, who's your money on? Um, thinking dinosaurs are gonna win. Dinosaurs? They always do. Yeah. There it is. Wow. Good Lord. A lot of dinosaurs over here. What mayhem. So, Justin, do you hear all that singing? From the choral arrangement? I'll just wait outside. Oh God, look at the teeth on this thing. Jesus. The detail in here, we got school, we got a school of fish going through the middle right here. Yeah, all these different kinds of coral moving through, the jellyfish back there. Is that a is that a stack of coral in the Imtron green, neon lime green? This thing? guy right here. Yeah, sure looks like it. That's wild. It's like one of the best colors they ever came out with. Wow. The best colors are all in the 80s and early 90s. Sorry, kids, you don't get the best color schemes. This was like when you built Lego with your friend and your friend used all the see-through pieces and stuff. You'd be like, oh, what the hell? Like, I love those see-through <laughs> pieces. Those were the best pieces all the t every time. <laughs> And there's a those ice planet color right there, that neon orange. Yep, this guy down here. Oh, I love that. that yeah, mm. that, that's. Hey, got to bring that back. Yeah. Wow. Tron, what are the, what are the pink ones from? The pink uh, translucent. Yeah, yeah, what are those from? Uh, they came in a SpongeBob set, jellyfish and stuff. But I think huh. something else they came in. Yeah. Chef hats. So chef hats become make great jellyfish. Yeah. Fish. Is cephalopod in there anywhere? Right there. That cephalopod. Yes. A huge one's called a oh, cephalopodamus. Nice. I like this, uh, the the brushes from the car wash set yeah, back here. That's awesome. <laughs> the car wash right there. Yep. That robot arms right there. Yep. That's awesome. There's the name. That was the first coral I made. So the first yeah. coral was the this droid right arm here. Right? That was yeah. the first. Yeah. Wow. So that became that. We got a whole apocalypse city going on here. Catching something in action over here. All right, so we got the octane gas station right here. A bit of a ship up here, working propeller. Wow. We've got extremely vexed Max right there. And slightly more livid Max beside him. Incredibly agitated. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Mildly peeved Max. Peeved yeah. yeah. Max. <laughs> Yes, we will, we will wow. Yeah. Statue of Liberty uh, actually looks a lot better this way. That looks awesome. With the chain going down here, someone's hanging out in the middle of the chain right there. Man, I don't even have like space in my house to build something this big. <laughs> like, God, I used to, but no. It's wow. kind of a hodgepodge of just everything, but it looks good together. This hot dog mech right here. Hot dog mech. Yep. Two words that I uh, kind of go together in Portland only. Some of the original space, uh, but I don't remember that pink being an original color. Was that pink a color back then? That was, they, they re-released a, a new set that came out recently that uh, had like four different colored spacemen in it. The original spacemen, for the new, huh? Yeah, for this, but they, it was like a pink, yellow, white, and blue came out in a new set. Wild. Yeah. There it is. 